If I did something poorly, please tell me in the comments. Anyways, back to the video that you clicked on. Hello! I have wanted to make games on Roblox since I was like 7 years old. I would try really hard for like a week, then lose interest. But not this time. If I was going to keep myself on program, get it from Andor. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, this is my plan. Each day, I would spend at least an hour in Roblox Studio, coding or building stuff. I would do this each week for 7 weeks, equaling a grand total of 49 days. Yeah, that's a lot of days. I'll be recording my progress in weekly chunks, and this is one. I started it off by going to the old YouTube University and searched up how to make games on Roblox Studio. There were a lot of videos, but I found this guy called Alvin Blocks. He has this great tutorial series on Roblox Studio and how to code on it. Welcome to the first scripting tutorial in this series. So this series is- My goal for the first week was to finish that tutorial series. Days 1 through 4 were kind of boring, as all I did was learn the basics of coding, although it was still really important. However, on day 5, I made this brick thing that when you step on it, it turns purple. So cool, right? If you've stayed in the video for this long, you probably like this type of content. So just smash that subscribe button, right? Anyways, back to the video. On day 6, I got to work making my first real game. I was following along with a tutorial series by, once again, Alvin Blocks. I was making a sword fighting game. I was so excited by the prospect of making a game that I was grinding out all the episodes in one day. All three hours of them. Yeah, I was really tired. On day 7, I started making another game. I was following along to a tutorial series by Smarty RBX. He has created this tutorial series on how to make a tapping simulator game. I started it, but almost as soon as I started, I ran into a big issue. The leader stats weren't showing. I spent at least four hours trying to fix the issue. I went to the Discord server and asked what the issue was, but to no avail. And by the way, I wasn't the only one having the issue. Half the questions on the Discord server were about this same issue. I even went on to Reddit to ask the same question, but only got one answer, and it made absolutely no sense. I finally decided to call it quits for the day. I had a big decision coming up. If I was going to commit a lot of time to figuring out how the issue worked and how to fix it, or I could move on and just try and make something new. The next day, I had an answer. I decided to... But that's going to have to wait till next video. No!